Tell me you must know that when it's the first time that you're speaking in the morning, it just sounds completely and utterly bizarre and you just hate yourself. That's exactly what I'm like right now. It's early in the morning, 9 a.m. This is the first time I'm speaking, so it sounds completely and utterly wrong. It doesn't sound like it's coming out of my mouth. It sounds like I'm the Grinch trying to sing something. Nevertheless, here I am and here you are. And thank you so much for stopping by and good morning as ever. Today, I have a video for you that's been waiting a long time. I asked you on Instagram, follow me down below. I asked you on Instagram, what are some hard things that you find to style? I picked a few of them and I saw rather a theme running through them. There was quite a lot of people asking for winter clothes. I decided to make this video winter themed. So I am solving your fashion dilemmas with winter in mind. Here we go. First one that I want to talk about, layering turtlenecks. Conventionally, you see a long sleeve turtleneck and a t-shirt. Someone actually said that in one of the comments. So yes, that's a great idea. However, we're a little bit done with that. We've seen it so many times and I wanted to switch it up a little bit. So all of these, I'm trying to think, yes, I would wear them. However, it's all online and fantasy and I get to do whatever I want. Double down on the turtleneck. I think it would be great if we did turtleneck on turtleneck. I decided to get inspiration from Fisherman. The sweater particularly was Guernsey wool. If you're British, you'll know where Guernsey is. If you're not British, you probably have no idea where that is. It's a tiny little island that my head of year at sixth form is from. But they make really good wool for fishermen, apparently. That's the wool that I'd like to use for my sweaters. I'm gonna have these really big, chunky fisherman sweaters that are the cable knit ones that are white and thick. Good quality work knitwear is such good quality, such good Good knit. We're not talking about the wide knit stitching that you get down the high street. We're talking about high quality Guernsey wool. These sheep are hardcore. I'm going to pair two turtlenecks together, or rather, I wanted to pair a turtleneck and some kind of just chunky jumper. It's cold, it's winter, we're doing a winter themed video. I really committed to the bit here, so I committed to the fisherman cosplay that we're going for here. I want to do fisherman sweaters, we're going to do Carhartt trousers, khaki, we're gonna do proper Doc Martin workman boots, and we're also gonna do a bucket hat. Like a safari hat, like a fisherman hat, a fisherman hat, you must know what I mean. And I also included some tackling socks. I don't know what they're called, tackle socks, fisherman socks, angling socks, I have no idea what they're called, but they're for wellies. But that is how I would style turtlenecks, turtleneck squared. The next one, another winter themed one, is a balaclava. I have spoken about balaclavas in a video before and I think that they are the most adorable thing ever. Oh my goodness. Originally I chose two routes for this one to style it. The first route I chose was, we're going skiing. Oh yeah, baby, we're going skiing. Vintage ski wear, bright, bright colors, goggles, helmets, tight, tight balaclavas. I got some shiny puffer jackets. However, I then got very overwhelmed by actually trying to create this with items that exist because I detest color. I'm miserable, I'm a pessimist. I cannot deal with color. I'm sitting in the absence of color right now. I greatly appreciate all of the vintage ski images that I found. They were fantastic. And I am sure that if I was actually on the slopes bombing down, I would be happier to wear some color. However, I am sitting in sunny, sunny England, middle of winter, absolutely freezing cold. Can't go outside for more than five minutes without running home to have a hot shower. So, Unfortunately, I abandoned that idea. Next idea I had was still going with the theme of activity. We're, we're going hiking this time. We are going hiking in the Lake District in Wales. We are climbing mountains and we're gonna bring a balaclava with us. I decided to use a black coat. It's a rab coat. You know, all of these jackets at the moment keep reminding me of old Kanye West and Yeezy. I've got to say, whenever I do wear a waterproof jacket, I do pull the drawstrings at the end and make it all big and puffy. And it's starting to remind me of Ye or Ye, whatever, whatever he, he wants to call himself now. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not sure. Honestly, I don't really keep up with him. I'm, I'm not really sure how he is, um, but hope he's well anyway. I paired it with some salmon trainers, a nice fleece, some walking trousers, and some um, Oakley sunglasses. 
And then to top it all off, I actually have an Arc'teryx balaclava. Never would I buy an Arc'teryx balaclava because it's horrendously expensive and I can buy one from a pound from Sports Direct. However, it's nice to look at on a mood board, is it not? You know, the reason why I chose these sunglasses actually was at the weekend, I saw Bella Baxley. Bella Baxley? Bella ba Bella Bax... Bella I saw Poor Things. I've got to say, it's the greatest film I've seen in quite a while. There was some incredible moments where she brought out some sunglasses while she was striding around Lisbon. I fell in love with those sunglasses. So I tried to find some sunglasses that emulated Bella in Lisbon. The closest ones I could find were these sporty little Oakley sunglasses and I thought they were absolutely wonderful. I'm going to prance around Lisbon in a waterproof jacket, Salomons, a balaclava and some Oakley sunglasses. Please feel free to come along. Next one, obviously my absolute favourite entry, dungarees. I absolutely adore dungarees. I'm sure you'll know this if you watch my channel. They are my favourite item of clothing in the world and I decided to style these in a slightly different way than I ever have before for you guys as this is fantasy and I can do whatever I want, as I said before. We are going cowboy with this outfit. I was heavily inspired by, I mean cowboys, but mainly American boys that used to fix your cars. Mechanics? They must be called something more American than that. I'm not really sure. We're going for a denim on denim look with dungarees, with a denim jacket, rugged, oversized, distressed denim jacket, um, vintage Levi, if we can, Wrangler, all those good denim brands. We're going fry boots. Once I created this, I was like, oh, it's a bit manly. We were saying it was hard to make it not boyish. And I've got to say when I style dungarees, I go for the boyish look and I actually quite like it. However, I wanted to add something girly. We have a little cute little bag. Last one is skirt over pants. Now I find this quite hard because there's a lot to consider. If you know me and if you've seen my videos before, you'll know that I find it quite overwhelming to have multiple patterns, colors, textures, layers, everything like that. And I find the skirt over trousers concept quite difficult because if I already have a pair of trousers I like, why would I cover them with a skirt? Why would I wear a skirt when my pants are already cute? you know? Because I struggle with so many layers on top of each other, I swapped out the skirt for a different item of clothing and I kind of cheated, did, sorry, I, I did kind of cheat, and I decided to use a dress. I decided to create a really grungy look with this. It's all one colour. If you're adding a skirt to this outfit, we have to stay with one colour because I, I just don't know how to do anything else. You've come to me for this. Me is what you're getting. And we are going all black with this, but it's quite sleek and grungy. And I actually really quite like it. And I would wear this on a night out if I had any friends to go out with. If I liked going out, which I don't, I would wear this prancing around my bedroom. I decided to put this outfit with lots of little bits rather than big bits like skirt over pants. One of them I wanted to talk about was the earrings. I did two sets of earrings because I wanted to mix and match the earrings. So I wanted them to kind of go together. So they're both pearl drop earrings, but they are odd. They're not from the same pair. And I saw this on Instagram and I, I cannot for the life of me find the video. I'm so sorry because it was a lovely, lovely video from a lovely young woman and I can't find it, but she had two different sets of earrings, but they looked similar. And that's the look I was going for. I also wanted to include a grill. So I have a Jesus grill. I mean, is that not completely awesome? A Vivian Westwood bag, because I am obsessed with Vivian Westwood at the moment. And also one of my earrings is Vivian Westwood. The shoes, I struggled a lot with the shoes, but in the end, I actually decided to go with some dead stop Nike Air Rift but they have a top on them. So originally I went for the ballet flat ones, the tabby ballet flat, Nike Air Rift. I was going to do a funky sock with them. Strawberry socks, these cat socks that I was looking at and I was like, yes, they are so cute. But when I started pairing them together and putting them in the outfit that I'd created, they're a pattern and I cannot do it. I tried, I tried. But in the end, we decided to put a cover on the ballet flat, wrap around Nike Air Rift. So that was today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. I will see you very, very soon. And thank you so much for coming. Such a pleasure, as it always is.